so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Welcome to a lesson on how to determine function values using function notation on the graphing calculator. In this example, we're given f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 7. We want to determine f of negative 1 and f of 3 fourths. So for the first step, we're going to enter the function into the graphing calculator. So we're going to press y equals, clear out any old functions, so we'll press clear, and now we'll enter the new function of negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 7. Notice that y is already here and y is equal to f of x. Now we'll go back to the home screen to determine these function values, but instead of entering f of negative 1 and f of 3 fourths, we'll enter y1 of negative 1 and y1 of 3 fourths. So we'll press second mode to go back to the home screen. Now we want to enter the variable y1, so we're going to press vars, right arrow once to y vars, enter, and since y1 is already selected, we'll press enter again, and now in parentheses, we'll enter negative one. So open parenthesis, negative one, close parenthesis, enter. So our function value is positive two. Now remember, whenever we find a function value, we're actually finding a point on the function, which we'll verify graphically in just a moment, but if f of negative one is equal to two, that means the function will contain the point with an x-coordinate of negative one and a y-coordinate of positive two. Now let's take a look at a second function value, then we'll verify these results graphically. Now we want to determine f of three-fourths, so we'll go back to the calculator. We want to enter y1 again, so we'll press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and then in parentheses, three-fourths. So open parenthesis, three divided by four, close parenthesis, enter. Notice how the function value is a terminating decimal, so this is the exact function value, but since the input or the x value is a fraction, let's go ahead and convert this back to a fraction. To do this, we'll press math, enter, enter. So the function value is 65 eighths or 8.125. So again, if f of three-fourths equals 65 eighths, then the function would have to contain the point with an x-coordinate of three-fourths and a y-coordinate of 65 eighths. But to verify this graphically, it's probably going to be more helpful to, to have our coordinates as decimals. So three-fourths as a decimal would be 0 0.75. And as we saw on the calculator, 65 eighths is equal to 8.125. Let's go ahead and verify that these two points are on the given function. Notice how the function is a quadratic function, so the graph is a parabola, and since a is negative, the parabola opens down. Notice this point on the left, this point here, has coordinates negative one, two. This is because we found that f of negative one was equal to positive two. Then this point here, which happens to be the vertex of the parabola, and because the parabola opens down, it's a high point, and the coordinates of this point are three-fourths comma sixty-five eighths. Or to verify this from the graph, it'd probably be more helpful to have the decimal coordinates, which would be zero point seven five comma eight point one two five. Notice how the x-coordinate does look like it's three-fourths, or 0 0.75, and the y-coordinate is a little bit more than eight, which would be 8.125. And this is because we found that f of three-fourths is equal to 65 eighths, or again, 8.125. 
Now, of course, we could have found these function values by performing substitution into the function, but it is nice to be able to check these function values on the graphing calculator. I hope this was helpful.